Now, the pandemic forced many venues to close. Just last month, the iconic Trouth shuttered its doors. Tonight, 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller takes a look at how other venues are finding financial relief and keeping the music flowing. Getting these venues and these promoters this money yesterday, you know, it was still too late. It's been now more than two months since local entertainment venues like Rec Room Buffalo applied for federal money as part of the shuttered venue operators grant with the Small Business Association. And months later, and it's just not fast enough, unfortunately, that and it's not going to get the venues that need the money the most. Uh, the money soon enough, I think, years. See a lot of places still close and shutter uh, because they didn't receive the funding in time. Chris Ring is the owner of Rec Room Buffalo and After Dark Entertainment. He's also a representative for the National Independent Venue Association, representing theaters and other entertainment businesses waiting for money. And they have gone on record again saying that they plan on awarding all 10,000 applicants by the 4th of July, uh, but their daily review numbers are not adding up to that sort of turnaround time. For the SVOG program, there is $16 billion available for shuttered venues. Eligible applicants could qualify for grants equal to 45% of their gross earned revenue from 2019. The maximum single grant is $10 million. According to new numbers released by the SBA, out of the 14,000 applications submitted, 1,445 grants have been approved. We have some, some work to do. Uh to receive funds yet, but uh, we have been approved, which is very good news. Just in the last few hours, North Park Theater in North Buffalo was one of those approved applicants. We have asked for um, $200,000. Um, so we're hoping that it's on that scale. For something that is supposed to be emergency relief, a lot of these people are telling me that means they needed it yesterday. That's right. I mean, when we needed to do uh, unemployment insurance enhancements, when we needed to do the Paycheck Protection Program uh, for small businesses, it was a much more efficient administration. Congressman Brian Higgins says he's wrote a letter to the SBA administration pushing for a faster application approval. It's this relief uh, being delayed. It's relief being denied because, as you know, a lot of these cultural institutions, these performance venues, uh, have very tight margin. You can still apply for a grant on the Small Business Association website. We reached out to the SBA and are waiting to hear back. In Buffalo, Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.